Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of the Minecraft 1.13 mod tutorials. In today's episode, we're going to be going over how to create our first item. So let's get started. I'm going to reiterate this one more time. Please make sure you have watched the Java tutorial series. Uh, it's still linked in the description as the first thing. So please go and make sure you watch it. Um, so if that's out of the way, then let's get started on this video. Um, firstly, we're going to create a static class inside of our main class here called registry events. So public static class and call it registry events. And this is going to be have an annotation at mod dot event bus subscriber and in here bus is equal to mod dot event bus subscriber dot bus dot mod and this is where we're going to register our items so firstly we're going to create the register items function public static void register items And this is going to have parameters of final registry event dot register. Um, it's going to make all this mess. So you can delete everything here, this i4 registry entry, and change this one to um, just item space event. And you want to import item as a net.minecraft item to item. And this is going to be a subscribe event. At subscribe event. Doesn't have any parameters. So basically what this is, it's creating a new class for our registry events. And well, any functions with a subscribe event will be run um, on the launch of the game. At the same time as the setup and client registries functions that are happening up here. So inside of register items, we are going to firstly put a logger, logger.info items registered. And then we're going to register our first item. Before we do that, we're going to need to create a new um, package. This package is going to be the lists package, dot lists. And inside of here, we're going to create a new class called item list. And inside of here, we're just going to declare our items. So the first item is just going to be a basic item. So public static item and just call it tutorial item. Everything here has to be lowercase. The tutorial underscore item you cannot have any capitalization in this name um or the game will crash i learned that the hard way um this is how forge wants us to name items so now i've declared the item we can go back to the main class and we can do item list dot tutorial item and that's equal to a new item and it's going to look for some properties. These properties are information about the item. So new item dot properties. And then the property, there's lots of different properties that I will go over in, in another um, tutorial in, in the future maybe. But the only one we really care about is the dot group. And this is the creative tab that it's in. Um, they you rename to item groups in 1.13 and I will go over creating um, your own item group in another tutorial but for now you just want to put it in a any of these item groups I'm just going to put it in the miscellaneous one and you put a semicolon on the end and that is your item registered apart from one thing we need to add the registry name we can do dot set registry name new resource location mod id comma 
and then the name of your thing. So tutorial underscore item. Control Shift O to import resource location. And that is our item registered. However, we can make this a bit more clean by creating a function to do all of this new resource location mod ID stuff. Um, so we can just call that function whenever we want this. So we can create a private function down here, private static um, resource location location, that's the name of the function, and have string name as parameters, and we're going to return a new resource location your mod ID and then name and name being the parameter that we input in which will be our name here. So now instead of um, writing all this out we can just change this to just have um, just call the location function open brackets and just input the name um, tutorial underscore item and it just looks a lot more clean and we can call this function every time so the item will now register but we need to work on the textures um, and the, its um, actual name in the game and things like that and that's what we're going to do inside of assets create a new package in here call it assets and create a new package inside of assets, calling it your mod ID. Sorry, I forgot to mention, to get your packages looking like I have, click on this downwards arrow, click on package presentation, and you want it hierarchical, rather than flat, which is what you'll have it as currently. Um, some people prefer that, but for me, I put it like this. There's three things we're going to need for our item something called lang, so put dot lang, something called models, and another one called textures. Firstly lang, this is a language file and will translate the names, the weird resource location names, into the clean English readable names um, that will be shown in the game. So we're going to create a new text document, open some curly brackets and close them as well. And then here we are going to declare our item. So item dot then your mod ID. Then um, tutorial underscore item. close those quotation marks, but a colon, and then the name of um, what the tutorial item will show up as in the game. So tutorial item, we're allowed capitalization here, um, and this is what it'll show up like in the game. You can control S this to save, um, go to tutorial mod, source, main, resources, assets, tutorial mod, lang, and call this en underscore us dot json. json is a type of file that all Minecraft resource files are stored as. And then en is English and us is United States. So you can create different language files for lots and lots and lots of different things if you want to support different languages. But I'm just going to use the en underscore us. So to understand um, json files a little better, we're going to install a, a, an Eclipse plugin. So click, go down to here and click Eclipse Marketplace from the help window and type in Wild Web. And um, there's this one here, Eclipse Wild Web Developer. Click install. As you can see here, enable simple and rich edition of typical web files, including JSON here. So click install, click I accept, click finish. Um, leave it for a moment and it'll ask you to restart Eclipse. It says, would you like to restart Eclipse ID to apply the changes?
click restart now, go down to lang, right click on this, click open with and then generic text editor. And as you can see, it has some formatting and it will also show errors in your JSON um, writing. So to make, which should help you while creating your model files, as well as your lang files, etc. Anything that uses JSON, this will really help with. So now we're going to keep go into models and create a new package. And this is going to be models.item. So models for our item. Go down to reference libraries. And then here, this top one, inside of net Minecraft has all of the Minecraft files. And also this um, fourth one here, client data, has all the Minecraft assets. And we're going to need the Minecraft assets for this. So models, item, find a very generic item, such as an apple. And we've got our generic thing here. Give it a copy. Then go up into your assets molds item, create a new untitled text file, paste it in, save it um, inside of source main resources, assets, tutorial mod, models item, and call it tutorial underscore item dot json. Close it, um, reopen it, so you get the formatting. Then here, where it says layer zero, put tutorial item, put your mod ID, tutorial mod, colon, item slash, and then the name of your item, so tutorial underscore item. And this is the texture location um, of the, this we'll look for. So in textures, create a new package called item. And then go into paint.net. This is a good pro a free um, image editor. If you have another free image editor, um, you can use that. But you can just get this from getpaint.net.com. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to install this and use it. I'll also leave a link for the Minecraft default textures that you can download and use. So you can create um, anything that's similar to a Minecraft item. You can use that as a, um, a background for your item. Um, so file, open, and then if you've downloaded it, it'll be called default textures um, and assets Minecraft textures items. And there's all of Minecraft textures here. I'm gonna find an ingot. So just by typing ingot, get the iron ingot. All Minecraft textures are 16 by 16 pixels. So if you're, complete, if you're creating your own one, then you can just create a new 16 by 16 and um, control A and delete to get rid of everything. Draw all over it and then save it. Or you can do what I'm going to do. We've got our iron ingot texture here. We can go down to the colors, choose one of these um, pixelated ones like the, that have some pixels on them. Um, this is kind of like an overlay and it will overlay that color onto the original Minecraft texture, use the pencil tool and go over and um, highlight over everything. And you can see it's changing the color but keeping the kind of contrast the same. And that's how I create a lot of my textures. But obviously you can draw whatever you want um, and save it as a texture. Minecraft doesn't care what you do. So that could be your texture if you wanted to. So now but once you've got your texture, you go into a file, save as, D, um, well, wherever you've stored your mod, go to source, main, resources, assets, tutorial mod, textures, item, and save it as your item name, tutorial underscore item dot PNG. It has to be a PNG file, nothing else will work. You can give paint on that a close now, click F5 to refresh um, and you'll have your texture here now. Once you've created everything, the final thing we need to do is actually register the item. I forgot to actually add this in earlier. 
So type event, referring to this event up here, the register item event, dot get registry, dot register all, And then you can delete this values thing um, and kind of make this look like a function in a way and put this like this so that we've got a list of all items that we want to register. To register a second item all you have to do is put a comma here um, instead of a semicolon cop and then just add a new item to the item list, then declare this item, add its properties, set its registry name, and go through and add all the resources, and everything will be great. But make sure that the last item in your list does not have a comma on the end. And there we are, our items will be registered. So you're going to want to go into the um, your mod folder and run the run client.bat function we created last time. Unless, of course, you're running a more obsolete version than me, in which case um, the run function might be working inside of Eclipse. So now we're in the game, uh, create a new world or load into one you already have. Then go into the creative tab that you set it in, to the miscellaneous one for me, scroll down to the bottom, and your item should be there. It should have the correct name. If you have done something wrong in your lang file, this will say um, item.tutorialmod.tutorial underscore item. So, as you can clearly see, my line file is working. If they've done something wrong with the textures or the model, then there'll be a black and um, purple uh, checkered texture here instead. In which case, you need to make sure that your everything is named correctly in your model and um, textures files. But as you can see, we have our own item in the game. So, if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials, as well as some other content coming out in the future. Thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.